What up, Kane fans? Welcome back. Uh, today, we're going to continue our top 50 countdown. We're going to cover players number 48 and number 47. But before I get into that, I wanted to give a quick congrats to the Hurricanes baseball team who just had a perfect 4-0 homestand. They swept rival Florida State over the weekend, their first sweep over the Seminoles since 2001. So great job by them. Tremendous job by the pitching staff. They really impressed me over the weekend. And of course, last night we get the W against UCF. So perfect homestand. And uh, let's see what they do this weekend. I believe they play Virginia, who's ranked in the top 10. So good luck to the boys there. Uh, so like I said, players number 48 and 47, I'm doing a double dose, double dose of Jaden actually, Jaden Harris and Jaden Wayne. Reason why I'm doing two, fell a little bit behind schedule. So uh, figured, you know, I've gotten good responses from the first couple of videos. Why not do a two for today? So let's start with Jaden Harris. So Jaden Harris is a guy that came in last season. He was part of the 2022 recruiting class. Um, not super highly rated. He was a, like one of those high three-star guys with a lot of potential. And he's someone that the coaches have, the coaches and the players have spoken very highly of. And, you know, I've had a chance to interview him myself on Flo Show. He's a young man, much like Ahmad Moten, who I can see the hunger in him. Dude wants to work uh, and he can't get enough of the work, honestly. He, he has been singled out as a guy by coaches and players that in his free time, he puts in the extra work outside of practice, outside of the weight room and all that stuff. He wants to be great. He got a little bit of burn last season, got beat a couple of times on some plays, wasn't quite ready yet. And honestly, you know, a lot of players on that defense were kind of, you know, caught out of position and uh, it just wasn't a great situation. I mean, you saw how many times our, our secondary got burned uh, on those big on those big plays. It, it happened at least once a game for a touchdown. But I think going into his second year, uh, I have faith in Mario Cristobal and this coaching staff in specifically developing players. Mario has shown he's he, he's pretty solid at developing talent. Elite recruiter, when I say he's an elite developer, I don't know about that, but he's pretty solid at it and he's much, much better than what we've had in previous years. So Jaden right now, six foot, about 195 pounds. He's uh, looked pretty good in practice from everything I'm hearing. So expect him to crack that too deep and get some playing time. I don't think he's gonna be a starter, but what's his ceiling? I think his ceiling is maybe later as the season goes, maybe he can crack that lineup and maybe get some uh, some starters reps in certain games, if you will. If somebody gets nicked up, he's probably gonna be that next guy in. So I, I expect Jaden Harris to take a big step forward this season. And I, I think he's gonna have a pretty solid 2023. Now, as for the other Jaden, Jaden Wayne. So, Jaden Wayne, obviously, true freshman coming in this season for the 2023 class. He, at one point, was rated a five-star, but mysteriously was knocked down to a four-star after he committed to Miami, or like right before he committed to Miami, there was something weird there, but whatever. He's a very highly rated player. I think he was ranked number 82 overall on the 247 composite, and like the number 13 or 15 defensive end or edge rusher in the nation, or no, actually number eight edge rusher in the nation, excuse me. I think he was top 10. Either way, Jaden Wayne is a guy that's been compared to uh, Rashawn Gary of the Green Bay Packers. He's been compared to Kayvon Thibodeau of the New York Giants, who was coached by Mario in Oregon. He was like a top three pick in the draft. Jaden Wayne has all the talent, all the ability in the world you can ask for. He's just got to put in the work and he will be great. It is almost a guarantee. He's just got to put in the work. Um, Jaden right now is 6'5", uh, six, between 6'5 six, and 6'6", six, six, depending what you read, 240-some-odd um, pounds. Um, I've seen him in person. I would say he's about 6'5". I think that's about right. And 240 looks pretty lean on him. He's got a frame that he could add more weight. They say he could bulk up to 270. I don't know if he wants to get that heavy. Probably more like 260 around there is his ideal weight. That would be my – that's my opinion if he wants to be like a legit – edge rusher that can use his speed and athleticism. Now, as for what I think his ceiling is this season, at the very least, I think he's gonna have a season that's similar to what Joe Jackson had back in 2016. 
Joe Jackson, a guy of similar size. I think Jaden Wade is a better athlete than Joe Jackson was all around, but Joe Jackson was kind of that edge speed rusher. Again, similar size who, as a true freshman in 16, got some burn midseason, started racking up a sack here, a sack there. By the end of the season in the bowl game against West Virginia, he was a starter. I don't know if Jaden Wayne's going to start. Potential's definitely there. But much like Jaden Harris, I think Jaden Wayne is going to make an impact this season coming off the bench, maybe getting a handful of sacks. That wouldn't surprise me one bit. And I think his role will increase as the season goes. Because, you know, certain guys get nicked up, it happens. But we got a little bit more depth at the defensive end position. And I think Jaden Wayne's coming in at just the right time. So those are my player profiles on Jaden Harris and Jaden Wayne. I'll be dropping um, number 46 uh, soon here in the next couple of days. And until then, go Canes.